Wasn't that what Voy Boy used to say? <laughs> later, or later nerds, later kids. Everyone's gotta, gotta say something, man. Later nerds. Oh, you get shit on. That's mine. Oh, you get shit on. Tyler's would be like, oh, you fucking kill yourself. You fucking trash. Get the fuck out of my game, you piece of shit. But that's the old Tyler. That's, that's the non-reformed, deformed Tyler. Now he's a good man. Freak said he didn't reform. I would say so. Honestly, I, I feel like I'm playing or I'm being more of a scumbag than he was. This is not intentional, but the games I've seen him in, I actually found Tyler recently. I found him uh, last night. He was playing Corky Mid. No shit talk, no nothing. He played the game out. That's it. He left. I'll give props to that guy because I can't fucking do that when I'm tilted. Although he wasn't tilted, obviously, because he played well, but... I feel like, uh... I feel like he's doing a good job at not being a dickhead. I did find him last night, though. He was playing Corky Mid. He played pretty well, too. Because I don't think people are genuinely just fucking scum. I think the game is just, you know... It, uh, enables them to be scum. I think that's what it is. Just the game is, is shit. I don't think Tyler is scum. I don't think... I don't... Even at one point when he got toxic as fuck at the game, I don't think he was ever an asshole. It's just the fucking game, dude. Honestly. You know, maybe... Maybe he was a dick. You know, maybe he was an asshole here and there, but, like, the game gets to you, man. That's what it does to you. When you're fucking passionate about something you do and people sort of, like, ruin it or, you know, do whatever it is they do and you get really angry, yeah. You know? I think that's with everyone, though. Why else would someone get mad? You don't just get mad because you're a fucking mad human being. There's reasons you're, you're mad. You know, uh, this game changes moods easily, pretty much. It's true, I can be super friendly or sweet, but League turns me to cancer. <laughs> you want to know the win streak we're on? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight win streak. It would be an 11 win streak, but I played Ivern. Reddit must die. Down with Reddit. Get your pitchforks, get your fucking lanterns. Your gasoline, we're burning it down. Reddit's just a bunch of fucking idiots, that's all it is. Just a bunch of fucking morons who think they know what they're talking about. I was reading some of the comments, they're like, Dude, Tobias is mentally ill. Tobias needs help. Even in the Dom section, when Dom went off on some guy, he's like, Dominate is so insecure. This guy needs help, like, right now. He should stop streaming, find a real job, and then expect to fucking, you know, make as much money as he does now just being a dick. He needs severe help. He needs help. Like, no, he's just mad at League of Legends. That's it. Why do you think everyone just gets mad at League? Why do you think the most toxic piece of shit community is only on League? You don't see fucking variety streamers get salty as hell. I mean, you might here and there, but League of Legends, that's it. Trust me. That's it, man. League of Legends fucks you. That's all it is, man. I'm telling you right now, and it's true. It is true, because I went fucking insane playing this game, right? I don't need mental fucking, what is it, mental stability, instability. I, I don't need help. I need LP. That's all I need. LP is my help. Yeah, Overwatch. Well, ever, any game that's competitive, that has a team aspect to it, fucks you. It gets to you. Because I was even watching Summit. Summit's a cool guy. I was watching Summit, and he was getting so fucking tilted. He got so tilted in top lane when he was getting camped. And I'm like, welcome to League of Legends, dude. The game will change you as a human being. If you are passionate about this game, if you give two shits about what you're doing, unless you're, like, tilted beyond, you know, anything and just fucking in out your ass like I did, like, the game takes control of you. It does. The game gets into your fucking brain, wires itself in, and you're, you're set to explode, okay? but you're set to explode on your fucking teammates. That's it. Or on the enemy in my case, because I turned that anger into wins, and now I'm almost diamond one again. But it's true, trust me. If you don't get mad at League, like, yeah, you might be pretty calm, you chill guy, but at the end of the day, you're not going to sit there with a smile on your face after you've lost 15 games in a row. Yeah, Summit had a break as well. Dude, I'm telling you, League of Legends, it fucks you, man. This is the only game that fucks you. Or, you know, Overwatch fucks you as well. But, it's like, Dominate's not mentally ill. I'm not mentally ill. This game... Is fucked. It's a good game, though. I love this game. Don't get me wrong. I'm not gonna sit here and say this game shit. I fucking love League. Like, do you think even Cutie Pie? I know Cutie Pie is unbreakable. You cannot break Cutie Pie. I even said to, uh, you know who else is unbreakable? Arc Second. That guy, you will never break Arc Second's fucking mind. Dominate, broken man. Tobias, broken man. Who else broken? Uh, Dyrus can become broken. Jared, you're fine. Uh, who else? Hashin Shin is a broken man. That is a broken man. I'm sorry, dude. League broke that man ages ago. Searches, I don't think you can break Searches. He's a good guy. Skara, nah, you can't break Skara. Fuck it. Arc Second is a good example of someone who has the fucking, like, lockdown on his his mind. He is so just, like, he, he plays the game well, doesn't get mad, 
doesn't get triggered. That's it. Grow score is beyond. The grow score is broken. It's like, no, it's gone. Trick 2G, gone. Sneaky, I don't think Sneaky. I would say Sneaky's okay. Bjergsen's beyond. Bjergsen is exactly like Arc Second. Heisendong's Hot pretty cool champ. too. I think it's more of um Boy Boy now. Nah. Grow score, dude, don't even get started on Grow score. That guy. I like that guy. Shake Clone, broken. Broken man. Shake Clone is a broken man. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Dakar, I don't think that. I think Dakar's okay. RF Legendary, broken man. I think Ghost is a broken... Uh, I don't know. I, I don't really watch Ghost, so I have no idea. Like, you know when League breaks you as a human being. Like, Dominate, broke. Tobias, like, you know. Trust me. Tarzan is a broken man. Yes. Beyond broken. 100% the game broke him. Apocalypse, don't even get me started. That guy is either the best troll in the world or just like, you know. G-Bay, yeah, G-Bay got broke by the game too. G-Bay's G -Bay's a broken man. So, I think Solo Renekton only... No, he's cool. I don't... I mean, he gets mad, but I don't think... He's gotten to a point where the game is like fucked him completely panzer dragon no nah, panzer dragon panzer dragon wouldn't be challenger if he was a broken man he's good i feel like night blue what i like i like rabbit don't get me wrong night blue's a good guy but i feel like he's i feel like he's dying inside every time he plays league but he plays it off like he's happy you know like he's always laughing like he 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 oh my god tobias let's do oh he 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 like he's happy on the outside but on the inside he's dead like this game has killed him ages ago you know what i mean like have you seen that like, he's always in a good mood. He's always in a good mood, but whenever I play this game and I'm losing, I'm not even in... Like, I want to kill myself. Like, this game doesn't make me happy unless I win, you know? That's what, that's what it feels like. That's really what it feels like. You know, you, like, you just can't play it off. You can't be like, oh, don't worry, guys. We're only losing 5 to 25, and we have four people AFK, and they're not forfeiting. Don't worry. Maybe next game, you know? You, I'm going to go through the streaming list right now. Let me see. Let me see who's streaming League. I'll go through everyone, even if I don't know them. Oh, shit. I even see myself. A hey, The clickbait title, Lucian, one trick, god of top and mid. <laughs> I'm a fucking loser. All right, let's see. I'll use a pop-out chat. Hang on. My clickbait shit. All right, let's go through the list of people. Everybody. I'm a cutie pie. Nope. God JJ. No idea. I have no idea who Alderady is. I have no idea who Asian God Tone GG3 BO is. Rakin, no idea. I'm a broken man. Yes, I'm there. Uber Danger, I have no idea. Yetz, no idea. Spazzy, definitely not. Overpow, no idea. Pimpy Mantalol, no idea. Japanese Korean, no idea. I, I guess I'm just going to skip the people I don't know. Uh, Shifter, I would say Shifter is fine. Uber Danger, broken man? All right, I guess. Uh, Hashinshin, that's my boy. He's broken. Arc Second, good guy. Uh, Geranimo is a broken man, yeah. Shea Clone, a broken again, baby. Fogged. I don't think Fog's broken. I think he's okay. I don't think there's many streamers on that I know. Like, it would be me hearing of them, right? Or, I guess, me seeing them in a game. So, I know Super Metroid, he's okay. Super Metroid is, uh, he's good. <clears throat> Alright, boys, we are done here. Wings of Death is a broken man. Just Easy, look at the person. Blem is a broken man, too. Like, come ben on, you're, you're giving me freebies dot, here, dot, can right? We plus watch it? Arc Data, Arc Data. Box Box. I would say Box Box is more like Night Blue. Easy money. Hang on. Tobias, I am sad. I got manhandled by a dirty Fura player as GP. I was holding my ground. She did not get a single flowers on my bunnies before level 11 or so. She dove me for life with a keg by the tower with oranges with my alt. This champ is BS. Yeah, the thing with Fiora is you have to make sure you're not... You, you have to make sure she can't dive you, so you gotta poke her down. If um if she's not... Or if she is full HP and she dives you, you lose. She'll always out-damage you, parry all your shit, just fucking run you down like an animal. Maybe what is I this? Maybe I just fucking kill myself. Maybe Whoa, what is this? I should just fucking kill myself! Holy fuck, man! Why the fuck do I do this? Why the fuck do I do this? Nobody likes me! There's actually... Nobody is happy I'm a league YouTuber. I am, man. I like you. I actually followed him on Twitter. I like you, man. You're a good guy. Jibei's a good guy. I like Jibei. He's a good guy. I don't think, I mean, no matter who you are, you wouldn't have 400k subs if no one liked you, my man. So just last week, I was- Wait, I didn't mean to click on your video, though. Hang on. 450k subs. That's fucking good. I wouldn't say nobody likes you. I mean, everyone in Solo <laughs> fucking hates me. Money. Video game donkey. Yes, whoa. I don't think Video Game Donkey even plays League, does he? I mean, I'm sure he does, but he doesn't, like, care about it as much as he once did. Uh, Yasuo is a broken man. Yasuo's a broken man, yeah. I don't know how far, but, like, if there could be a scale, it would be Hashinshin on one side and Arc Second on the other. 
or you know, Tobias on one side, Arc second on the other. That's what the scale would be. So you can weigh your favorite boys from uh, those two people. Arc second on one side with uh, Bjergsen, and then Tobias, Hashinshin, Geranimo, Blam, so on and so forth on the other side. Night Blue would be in the middle. Night Blue's in the middle. All right, that's that's the middle man. I think the longer you stream. Even, I would say I'm a cutie pies in the middle, too. I don't know if he's, like, putting it off that he's not just, like, so Easy upset with the money. game. Oh, and I am happy to know you did the same as I did at the time. I mailed in my RuneScape membership yep. from China. China? Oh, and Yagbei is legit. Even though he's noob. Yeah, Jibei, I like, I like Jibei. Cutie is dead inside, probably. Or he just doesn't care. You know, I think, I think that's the way to go about things sometimes. Just don't care. Just play. Have fun. Don't you ever call man shine shine broken again. He's in an endless fight against the game. Yeah, yeah true, like true. A true Viking. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, cutie gets tilted as fuck, yeah. Everyone gets tilted, dude. I mean, if you main bot lane, you get fucking dove by 20 people 24-7, you're fine. Not mentally, but, you know, if you can, if you can keep your cool, not break your keyboard, you're good to go. I think, okay... Okay, this is what some guy says. Cutie is making millions of dollars. So he doesn't give a fuck about the game anymore. Let's be serious now. He makes millions plus YouTube. He got like four accounts in Challenger. He's done. If he didn't give a fuck, he wouldn't be in Challenger on four accounts. You know? Even if I was making that much money, I would still fucking care about this game. Because what do you think I do when I wake up? What do you think I do when I'm sleeping? Thinking of League. Thinking of how to get back to Challenger. The dream. You know? I think League of Legends, once you get hooked on the game, it's extremely hard to stop playing, as opposed to, like, maybe a Call of Duty game, right? It's there, it's gone, the community's dead, it moves on. League of Legends is a never-ending cycle of shit. The game always evolves, but it never, like, you know, it, it, there's no second League of Legends, basically. There's no second League, it's only League. There's, there's multiple Call of Duties, there's multiple fucking shooters out there that you can just, like, jump into. Easy you invest money. so much fucking time into the game. And also am highly considering playing Trindamir only now. I adore GP. But I cannot get my butterfly out of silver with him. I did so many games and I still cannot do it. Watch Fog. Maybe GP is not for me. You... Honestly, you... I'm, I'm telling you right now. If you can't climb, it's because you're not oh, good at GP. Fuck. If you're not good, you're not climbing. GP can... You, I can go from Bronze 5 to fucking D1 with GP only. Masters, yeah, I can probably get Masters, but I haven't tried Challenger in a while. Tobias Gate, what about Split Push Gate Stank Plank? Why would you Split Push when you can win via one keg? You know? All I'm saying is, like, I'm not bashing you, I'm not saying you're shit. Hi, bud. I hope you have a good day today and enjoy your time streaming. Smile. Oh, we're, we're done here, my man. We are going offline soon. But, um, all I'm saying is if you can't climb, that's your own problem. Not the champion. That's you, right? If you can't, any, you can climb with anyone. I've seen SSBM hacks get to Challenger with only TF. Yes, that was at a better time for TF. I would still say TF is good. Honestly, I don't think TF was ever out of the meta. He's always been there. He hasn't been like, pick every game, ban every game. But he's always been there, you know? Annie has always been there. Not bad ever. She's always been decent. TF was always good. Yeah, TF was always fucking good. He was. T TF has never been bad. You can basically climb with anyone. Yeah, Apto mains TF. Look at the potential TF has if a top-tier player in the world mains him, right? A lot of people look at TF and they're like, boring, he throws cards, he has a stun, he gets fucked in lane, he has no mobility. He's garbage. Why would you play it? But then you see a guy, like, use that quote-unquote shit kit, even though it's one of the best kits in the game, to its full potential. Easy, and you're like, okay, wow, he's pretty good. What do you think of the band Ensiferum? Insufirum's good. I've got all their uh, albums. Like, TF might be boring, but I wasn't interested in TF because of his kit. I fucking loved the look, the lore. Actually, no, the lore was shit. I just liked the look, how he sounded. Just a badass dude. And that's the reason I played him. I didn't care about his kit. If I cared about kits, do you think the f I'd fucking play, like, Karthus and shit? I'd play Fizz, LeBlanc, Syndra, kill everything, win lane. TF's lore was so shit when it first came out. He was like an experiment, and he escaped Easy from a lab, money. and then he had superpowers. It was just so what dumb. are your thoughts on the new Echo Fox? Isn't that with uh, Cutie and shit? I mean, that's a meme-ass team, dude. That's going to be the fan favorite now. Everyone's going to fucking love that team. 
League. Are you kidding me, dude? The lore in League of Legends is fucking sick. Have you read Gangplank's lore? Like that guy gets fucking shanked in in his story, and he still stands up like a man, yells to his crew, "Take these idiots to the bottom of the sea." All right. GP's lore is sick. He has a fucking badass lore. He messes with everyone, dude. He fucking pillages like Zed's temple, fucks with all of his people, steals Swain's flagship. A Noxus fucking like galleon. Oh, look. It's cool. A happy little barrel. Hey dad, lick me gachi. I'm good, dude. I guess Twisted Fate's lore is pretty cool now because they changed it and it's more realistic and he's not just some fucking X-Men. But um if you want to get invested into a character, read up on them. Lore, everything. That's why I love Gangplank. I don't love GP because he's just some fucking you know, disgusting pirate who eats oranges. I like him because he's GP. There's more to it, boys. Trust me. Gambit, yeah, he's a fucking X-Men, dude. That's what he is. You know who has a badass lore? Olaf. Olaf's lore is fucking manly. Olaf, um, there's some shit about, like, he gets shunned out by his village, and now he basically travels the lands, Easy, finding the man. biggest and baddest monsters to fight TBH, until he dies. the only champ I play a lot apart from GP is Victor. Now that I think of it, I'm much better with him. And Victor is emo part of the manlier puppy champs in-game. And late game, it's disgusting how strong Victor is. Yeah, Victor's pretty good. Victor, I like Victor, but not enough to play him. In game, he's fucking scum. But Olaf's lore is manly as hell. He's basically a slayer from Warhammer. Go read Slayer. Go type Warhammer Wiki Slayer. Read the Slayer lore. It's a dwarf, by the way. It's a naked dwarf who fucking did some wrong in his life, and now the only way to make up to it is to find the biggest and baddest shit in the world. And to fight until his until he dies. That's it. A naked dwarf. Love you, Daddy. Hairy as hell. Two axes in hand, flying around, finding the biggest and baddest fucking thing to kill until he dies. That's manly. That is Olaf's lore. It was literally. It's the same thing. I kid you not. It is the same lore. That's fucking sick. Hairy naked dwarves. Yeah, I wish they would. Um, if they made Olaf look different, I would play him. I would 100% play Olaf. Make him, uh, give him Trinomir's ultimate. Give him a VU. Make him full damage. No tank bullshit. He's a Viking. His lore wants him to die. Why would he build tanky? Why would someone who wants to die build defensive to keep themselves alive, you know? Hello, Tibibo. It is me, the Eyehole Man. How do you feel about Velcos? His Hate lore is badass and interesting, and come on, I mean, he is a big Eyehole. He's a it really dick. cannot get better than that. He is not the manliest, but sometimes it is more about the eye hold. Easy no, money. No, dude. And since we are talking about lore and Victor, his lore is cool as shit. Best lore in the game after Azir's and GP emo. GP, Most GP is a kitten sick lore, yeah. champs have best lore smile. I'll show you right now. You tell me this. This ain't sick. This is a slayer. I'll show you a slayer right now. I'm done after this, though. I'm gonna go offline. You tell me. That's a slayer. That is a dwarf slayer. It's basically Olaf. Easy money. Like you see That's that little shit by you? To you play run. Auric. I just love his look and how he talks. Like a demon, he surpassed death. Demon. Also, his lore is sick AF, filled with despair, regret, and revenge. His lore would make a pretty good Bok Tbh. I think. Uh, I mean, I guess he's cool, but I would never play him. You know, I wouldn't play him. Is that Olaf? It basically is Olaf, dude. Anyways, I'm gonna go offline. Uh, that's Gragas? Nah. Gragas is, uh... I mean, I guess it's Gragas in a sense, but it's more Olaf. Uh, Squareless... Oh, you said kill yourself. Okay, thank you for the sub, buddy. Slash Evan, welcome. A random fruit, thank you for the three months. Dino Dave, thank you for the four months. Fully Fuller, thank you for the three. Guppy, thank you for the six. Uh, Tyler1, thank you for the six months as well. Good stream, good stream. See, I'm in a good mood when I win. When I'm salty as fuck, everyone knows I'm not in a good mood. Because I wouldn't be, uh, right here. Uh, I'd be rage quit offline in the bathroom, slashing my... an old monk to get his powers after butterfly two children because he liked the color of their blood. That's fucked. Came back to Norxus Rainbows, the palace guards, and said I'm the boss now. Yeah, he's a pussy. He beats up old people. Vladimir's a pussy, he's an asshole. Sucked all the blood out of an old monk to get his powers. Who the fuck does that? What a scumbag. I hate Vladimir even more now, what the fuck? How could you beat up an old man for powers? Come on, dude. 
cabbage cart flashbacks, pretty much. What do you think of Boxer Pete? He said he likes you, so ye. BTW Marmang in the chat for the best Trindamir in the entire fucking galaxy to returning soon. Love you, Did he play his... The last time I saw that guy, he played Fiora. Listen, I don't know what's, what's the deal with Trindamir to Fiora, but that ain't right. That's... You, you disrespecting your fucking character at that point. Play, um... Listen. I will never recommend a champion because you know who you want to play. Find a character who looks cool, who sounds cool, who is badass, and you play them for that reason. Don't pick a character because they're broken. Don't pick a character because they're weak. Pick a character because you like the character. That's all you gotta do. And you'll climb, trust me. It's just you gotta put the time in to get good with them. Find someone you enjoy, play the living fuck out of them, learn the game, learn the champ, and you'll climb. Peace, boys.